Okay, I got an Epson printer. It's a, uh, mine's an ET3850 EcoTank. And I've been having an issue pretty much every day, if not numerous times a day, where my uh, little box up here where the Wi-Fi symbol is right there, will have like an X there, or it does something to work, let you know, but it's offline and you're, you know, has no more connection. It will constantly be losing connection. It appears the problem anyways with your, with your Wi-Fi. I get this. Here's the big, uh, the uh, error I've been getting on my actual printer. This is a screenshot I took of it and printed it off so you can see it. It'd say Wi Fi error occurred. Contact support. And it's always late in the evening when I do this and they're always closed, so I can't ever call support because they close at like 4 p.m. Eastern time or something or another. So, anyway, that's the error I was getting. And I've been just, you know, totally frustrated with it. And uh, what I was doing for a while, when I got this air popping up, I come over here and not power it off, but come back here, just leave it on right here, go back to your plug in back here and just pull the plug on the back of it, wait a minute, or you know, wait a full minute, plug it back in. And most of the time I'd get it back where it would pick up my Wi-Fi connection again. And I've had times I did it, you know, one time, two times, up to, you know, four or five times, once or twice anyway, it took me, you know, four or five times to do it, but eventually, I would get it to connect again and go back to working. But then usually this, you know, if not the same day, the next day, come back here to print something again and it'd be back to the same situation. It'd say, you know, that same error I was getting right here, Wi-Fi error occurred. So my fix for it, what I did anyways, this has been working ever since I did this. I went ahead and went to my, hit your home button and go over to the right where it says settings. Click right there. And scroll towards the bottom using the uh, arrow pad here to where you see restore default settings i clicked right there now under network settings i won't do it right now because i've already done this mine's working so i don't want to screw it up again but select the okay button right there what you want to do and what you're doing is just resetting your network settings back to factory default and once you do that go ahead and go back to the home screen again hit your home button back to where you started that and what I did was, in my computer over here, went to Epson's website, just, just Google or, you know, whatever, search for uh, Epson support. Let's put this page is right here. The main, this is Epson's main page right here, Epson support. Back up one more here where I started that. And here's right here, Epson support page. Then you'll come to this page here. This is just, there's the address on it. Epson.com support forward slash sl forward slash s so support sl forward slash s anyways this is the main page you come here and i want to go uh type your product name mine was an et3850 so type in et-3850 and go ahead and find yours on the list mine's right there 3850 clicked on right there and what i did was i went ahead and just reinstalled my drivers like a, you know, more or less a fresh, clean install of them because I've been tired of fighting this every single day, it seems like. And it has been every day. But it's important when you're doing this setup to go ahead and, uh, these steps, go ahead and just where you choose your operating system, which is very crucial to your, you know, drivers you get. Don't want to mess this up. So mine, in my case is a Windows 11. So I'll go to the list and find Windows 11, which is right there. Click that, hit go. And some search, it's gonna find you the right drivers for your particular, you know, setup. There it goes, found them. And just went to my, uh, it says recommended for you, driver utility combo package installer. Go to download right there and click download. Then once they uh, download, go ahead and you'll click your download button here. And it'll say, do you want to allow this to make changes to your device? And I'll hit, you know, I, I won't do it now, but what I did, I hit it selected yes. Went through the full setup again. It goes step by step to the setup wizard, walk you through it, and it goes ahead and it connects up to your Wi Fi again on your printer, gets everything checked out. And at the very end of the setup, it'll say print test page, which is this page right here. I just printed off you know, a couple days ago. And ever since then, I've not had this issue anymore. My little box up here, the last couple days, has stayed like it should be staying, where it uh, it's, it's connected. So, anybody else having this issue? Uh, I re recommend trying it because uh, in my case, it worked for me. I'm not going to guarantee it works for you, 
but in my case, it did work. So I, more or less what I did was I, I, you know, reset my network settings through my printer itself, going through the, the settings tab over here, scroll over, hit settings, and then go through all that and reset network settings. Then to your computer, reinstall the drivers through the Epson website, go through the whole setup wizard step-by-step. Step. And uh, ever since I've done that, mine's been working great. So anyway, hope this helps somebody. Good luck.